I think it can go. Good evening, everyone. I'm John. I'm a part of my dad, Mark X Cronin. We, uh, we are a John's crazy socks. And our bed is a spray happiness. This show about a spray happiness show. <laughs> you are in a good mood, pal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and when you say my name is Mark X Cronin, yes, you make it sound like I'm an X Cronin, like I used to be a Cronin, and now I'm something else. <laughs> Mark X. I know, I know. That's my middle name, my middle initial. I like to use it. You know why there are other Mark Cronins out there, and, and I don't want to confuse anybody. Oh, right? oh, 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 what about me? You are fast getting on the path that someday we may just have to call you John. Like Cher, or Madonna, Madonna or Pele. Oh, yes. <laughs> I like Cher. You like Cher. You want to dress up like Cher? Yeah. Yeah, I know. You like dressing fancy, uh, don't uh, you? I saw the movie. <laughs> oh, jeez. And I'm looking at myself in the picture here. You know what I need? I got to trim this beard. I need a haircut. <coughs> I'm looking like the mountain man. I'm coming down from the woods. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, his hair, like, I've uh, uh, been in this front. Uh, a party in the back. No. <laughs> no. No mullets. <laughs> no mullets. And do you think I can get a haircut here? You can get a haircut. You want a haircut? Yeah, I want, I want okay. a track haircut for Christmas. Okay, so you're going to look good? Yes. Oh, plus you're going out. You may see some girls Saturday night. Yeah, they oh, am. Oh, you want to look good for that. <laughs> yeah! Oh, uh, I guess what, Dad? Behind what? me is Christmas tree. Right, it was there last week, and it's still not decorated. Not yet. <laughs> We've been busy, huh? Yes. We've been running around. Well, so, welcome to the Spreading Happiness yeah, Show. Yeah, this is Spreading Happiness Show, Dad. It's pretty simple. It's just a little bit of, uh, we want to share some joy. We want to take some time with you, 20 minutes, uh, half yeah. hour. Yes, Dad. Um, put a smile on your face, make you feel good, right? Does yeah. that sound it? Yeah, I, 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 all the very joy. We, we started this during the pandemic when everybody was locked down. And, right. And if, if our business has a mission of spreading happiness. Yes. Well, how do you reach, you know, how could we spread happiness if everybody was locked down? And that's why we started a Facebook Live show. Yes, Dad. <laughs> you like doing this? I love it. I, I love it a lot. And I'm I really cool. Every, every Tuesday... I host a dance party every Tuesday. Right, that's the other thing we did. You started your dance party. I did a party, and um, um, I follow uh, Adam Lake here also. Uh, um, I follow uh, uh, check out the link on uh, uh, my website at shawscritchesocks.com. Adam Lake below. I got to have Adam Lake for a dance party. That's a way to spread uh, happiness, huh? Okay, spread happiness. Every Tuesday, John hosts an online dance party. He's right. We put the link down below. We can go yep. to our website down at the bottom, yep. johnscrazysocks.com. And, and, sign, yep, sign up yep. for the dance party. And a dance party. And also, what? A, 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 when a dance party is for having a show, yeah. we have a, our own podcast called Spring Happy Podcast of we uh, have a spread it. We uh, have a podcast, a podcast because half of the world has a podcast. I do. So we should have a podcast. Yeah, <laughs> a, 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 every podcast are features, uh, are features like, um, our, 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 the business. Where, where we talk about what you've been up to. Okay, we banter a bit. A bit, a bit. Write a little conversation. Yeah. We highlight a business that's owned by someone with different abilities. Right. I I I I tell them jokes. We tell some jokes. I, I, I tell my uh, my love life. Give an update on John's love life. <laughs> I, we share some good news. I, 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 I by the way, Dad. Yes. I'm single. I, I'm eligible. <laughs> you are single and eligible. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh lordy well this has been a big week big week for us uh, we yes. were last week we celebrated our anniversary as yes as six it is a six year anniversary we of john crazy socks john's crazy socks six years ago and here we are still standing yes that's a big deal 
That is amazing. You know, most businesses go under in five years and we're thriving, huh? You spend a lot of happiness. We yes, just sir. passed a milestone. We shipped our 400,000 package. That is 400, incredible. 400,000 packages to 88 different countries. Every state of the yes. union, 88 different countries. How cool is that? It, it, it's amazing. It's incredible. But if we get a package between the office and home, what are you doing? I'm still doing, doing a home deliveries. Still doing home deliveries. Very cool, huh, buddy? I'm so happy. Um, so we did that. We had a big open house party on uh, Saturday. Yeah, we, we did. We threw open the I doors to the warehouse. Santa came in. We had music and food trucks drew from uh, California Kitchen Pizza. Oh, I love pizza. Oh, you love pizza. <laughs> that was all really fun. That was great. And then Sunday, what did you get up and do? Sunday, I, I'm up. I got you a pot of plants. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I, I waited for a bit of Olympics. Right, John did. I think this was your eighth year in a row. Yeah, Dad. Of doing a polar plunge. Hey, a polar plunge means you run out and jump in the freezing water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like doing that, huh? I love it. And he did it uh, to support and raise money for the Special Olympics. You must yes. love Special Olympics. I love Special Olympics. Uh, uh, I, I did. I, 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 love, I love Special Olympics. I, did, I, I do Special Olympics. For 21 years. 21 years. And I, I really cool that. What? Uh, I have, I have, I'm on. Yeah. I, I'm not going to be, I have to be trained, how to be close, how to be disciplined, and I have to be sportsmanship, I'm not going to be great, and, uh, and I'm going to be a uh, good leadership. You learn a lot about leadership, sportsmanship. Uh, sportsmanship. Teamwork, very important. Exactly. You learn how to compete, you learn how to fail. How yeah. to get knocked down and get back up again. Yeah, I, I'm really cool. I, 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 we, I, 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 I tell you, really cool, Dad. What? I, um, I, 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 our business, mm -hmm. I have five percent all the earnings to a Special Olympics, and I, 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 we have um, all lined up with a shiny partners, all the winners that we have. So yes, we. I, I guess what, Dad? We, so. As you're racing along here, right, we do, we, you know, we got to, you can't just talk about things, right? So we donate 5% of our earnings to the Special Olympics. Yes. Our Sock of the Month Club, Dr. 5% Monk Club. of that goes to the Special Olympics. We have other products like the Polar Plunge Socks. Yes. Plus you do the Polar Plunge. I do Polar Plunge. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. You know, but we, we do say if there was no Special Olympics, there would be no John's Crazy Socks. True. It's fundamental to what you do. It's incredible, Dad. You love it, don't you? So we had that. We did radio interviews. We did some podcast interviews. Yes. And it's a busy time of year. It's great to be in our warehouse now because everybody's so busy filling orders. I love it. Me too, Dad. We have more jobs. We hired 15 more people for the season, 12 of whom have a different ability. Um, it's like Santa's workshop. Yes. Don't you like it when it's busy? I love it. <laughs> um, all right, so we have a lot of that going on. Um, want to tell some jokes? Yes, I will talk to you, Dad. Um, I just have about a reindeer jokes. Reindeer jokes? Okay, let's hear the reindeer jokes. What do you call a reindeer with no eyes? What? Do you call a reindeer with no eyes? No, I, deer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I have, I have two more. Go ahead. How do reindeer know that Christmas is coming? How do reindeer know that Christmas is coming? They look at their Catlin deer. <laughs> They're uh, Kellen Deer. I uh, have one more. Oh, good. What what do the reindeer use to wipe off the clay? What do reindeers use to wipe off the clay? Yeah. What? Santa Sansa. Santa Sansa. <laughs> well, I got a few things. You know, you think about winter. I'm I'm trying to stay on the nice list. 
So I'm trying to stay out of trouble. You know how I figured out how to stay out of trouble? Go to sleep. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if I'm sleeping, I'm not getting in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> right? And you know what else I figured out? You know what uh, a nap is? You know, you lay down and take a nap. That's the same as turning your computer off and on to, to restart it. <laughs> and we got some nice gifts of uh, brownies. And, uh, you know, so how do you keep brownies fresh? Eat them all in one sitting. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, your mother was complaining. She was wearing headphones while vacuuming. This could have been me doing it, but I don't really like the vacuum. And then finished the whole house before she realized the vacuum wasn't plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> So, um, but here's something else, uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, a lot of people during the holidays, you know, myself included, we don't want to gain weight. So we're always trying to figure out, people are all trying to figure out, how do I not gain weight during the holidays? You know, I figured out the secret. Take the batteries out of the scale. I don't know. I don't think it's that funny, you know? It's not like I'm quitting a day job and going to Vegas and doing a <laughs> stand-up routine. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah, maybe gambling. It is a football December pit. football season. What you said? Are you ready? I am ready for ball and one thing. Okay, so we make picks every week. Yes. Do you have the results from last week? I do. It's here. Well, I do it. And Dad. Yeah. Okay. You get seven right. Oh boy, that's not good. And six wrong. Okay. And I have eight right, five wrong, and guess what? What? I kicked your butt. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you very much, son. You kicked my butt. Good. Um. Yeah, now we have some we have some caveats that go with this. First of all, this is for entertainment purposes only. Yeah, yep. Hold on to your money. Don't bet on our picks. Do not bet on our picks. I'm gonna go straight up. We bet straight up. We don't bet against the spread, right? Right. Uh, that doesn't matter much. We still get them wrong. Okay, are you ready to pick? A lot of games this week. Um, you know, last week there were six teams that had a buy, but this week I think everybody's playing. And they're starting Saturday games. Yes, sir. So, so here's how it used to be. Friday night, this is the only football you had. Friday night was for high school. Friday night under the lights. Saturday was for college. And Sunday was for the pros. And that's the way it went. And then they introduced Monday night football. And now they got Thursday football. And some colleges play on Tuesdays. It's all crazy stuff. It used to be much simpler. <laughs> all right, first game up. Yeah. Thursday night. Um, Thursday night. Um, San uh, Francisco. San Francisco Fun Niners. With maybe this guy Purdy at quarterback. Maybe not. They say he's day to day. Uh, I hear he's questionable. He's questionable. Going up to Seattle. Yep. Always a good match between those two. Playing the Pete Carroll uh, Seahawks. Yep. Um, who are you taking? The 49ers. You think the 49ers defense is going to shut down Geno Smith? Huh? Absolutely. Well, that rookie running back looks like he may not play. I agree with you. I'm picking San Francisco. Next up, uh, the uh, Jeff Saturday Colts are traveling to Minnesota, who just lost to the Lions. Indiana want me. Oh, you're going to say, every time we mention Indiana, you're going to sing Indiana Wants Me? Indiana Wants Me. An obscure song by R. Dean Taylor. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, Lordy. Okay, who are you picking? The Vikings. I'm picking the Vikings, too. You know, they're, they're an odd, it's an odd thing. They're 10-3, and three, and yet they've given up more points than they've scored. Yeah. Next one, a division rival. It is the Baltimore Ravens. They don't know who's going to play quarterback for them. Lamar Jackson's hurt. Hundley's hurt. They're traveling 
to Cleveland. You know what Cleveland used to have a nickname of? The Mistake on the Lake. <laughs> you know, in the 70s, the Cayuga River that goes through Cleveland went on fire. Imagine that, a river on fire. That's right. how polluted it was. They cleaned it up. Um, uh, Dad? Yeah. Um, one of them is incredible is um, from Hawk City. Okay, so who are you picking? The Ravens. I'm taking the Ravens, too. I just think they're too much. I still don't believe in Watson as a quarterback. Yeah. And then, Saturday night, ooh, this is a big game. Them Dolphins, who have been struggling, as Bart Scott's been saying, they have to play the varsity now. And they've lost two in a row, and now they have to go to Buffalo. It's nice and warm in Miami. It's cold in Buffalo. Who you got? I take a Buffalo. So I get this long intro, and you're just, I got Buffalo. Yeah. I'm taking Buffalo, too. All right, next one. Rookie quarterback in Atlanta going against New Orleans. Both of these teams are struggling. Who you got? I'm taking the Saints. Um, one of the, uh, one of the quarterback from the Falcons. Uh, the, uh, my Mariotta's out early. Yeah, I mean, they got to play the rookie quarterback Riddler. Yeah. Okay, not not the Riddler. It's not Batman. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Philadelphia Eagles might be the best team in the NFC, maybe the NFL. Yeah. Who you got? The Eagles. You're taking the Eagles over the Bears? Yeah. Yeah, the Bears are not a very good team. And then the next one, oh boy. I don't know about this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah me too. Um, I'm taking the Alliance going to the uh, uh, New York. I'm taking, I'm taking the stress. You're taking the Jets. Yeah, I'll probably have to turn around. I gotta take the Jets, but I may be betting more with my heart than my head. Me too. You know, Mike White, uh, everybody loves Mike White. He's day to day. Uh, Zach Wilson's uh, backing him up. Uh, by the way, Dad, yeah. I, just, I just heard. Yeah. And I, uh, uh, I, I'm sorry if you're hard. Uh, uh, I see uh, White, uh, White Davis and, and the other one. Quinn and Williams. Uh, Quinn and Williams. Uh, both of them are incredible now. Yeah, okay. They're incredible. Okay, so. I'll check. Ah, let's hope for the Jets. Then Pittsburgh at Carolina. All of a sudden, both of these teams were playing better, though Pittsburgh lost their starting quarterback. Trubisky got in through three interceptions. Yeah. And now Carolina's playing better and winning behind Sam Darnold. Um, I'm taking a I'm taking, uh, Carolina at this one. So am I. So we've been in agreement um, on everything so yeah, far. Yeah, uh, was it our surprise? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 in uh, Carolina, I think I think Sam Darnold only won a uh, quarterback. Uh, okay. I, I no one, I no one uh, uh, cover him. All right. Uh, next one. Ooh, this could be an interesting game. Dallas is going to Jacksonville. Jacksonville been playing better. Who you got? I take the Cowboys. I'm taking Cowboys too. I think they'll have too much. Dan Quinn will be able to stop the rookie, or not the rookie, second year yeah. quarterback. And then the next one, <coughs> not much of a game. Kansas City is playing at the Texans. So the Cowboys barely beat the Texans. So yeah. Who you got? Um, Kansas City. I need Kansas City. I need Mahomes to throw like five touchdown passes. Exactly. You know, I need it for my fantasy team. No. And then Arizona, they just lost their starting quarterback, is playing at Denver, who may not have their starting quarterback. Um, actually, there are. Russell Wilson is still in the concussion protocol. Uh, um, actually, you uh, got he's inside. Still, you got uh, he definitely, he definitely can't be back. You oh, you think Wilson's definitely going to be back? Yeah. All right, who are you picking? I think I think it's Broncos. You're taking the Broncos. Yeah, I, I he definitely, yeah, he definitely can, can be back. All right, I, I, I don't I'll agree with you. Back. And then the Patriots are going to Las Vegas to play the Raiders. And Josh McDaniel is now the Raiders head coach. He used to be for a long time. The offensive coordinator for the Patriots. Who are you taking? 
I'm taking on Raiders. So am I. We need the Raiders to win that one. We being Jet fans. Yeah. Then Tennessee at the Chargers. Tennessee's been struggling of late. And Chargers have been coming on. Who you got? I take on Chargers. Yeah. I'm going to take Tennessee. I think they'll find a way. Cincinnati at Tampa Bay. I take the Bengals. Yeah, I'm taking the Bengals. And then the New York football Giants. Giants. Playing Washington, what do they call themselves? Commodores, Commanders, something. Who you got? I'm taking Washington. I'm picking Washington. Yeah. Too. I'll, I'll, Your mom's not going to be happy. No. No, not going to be happy. We can watch that game together. We don't have to be separate because they're not playing the same time as the Jets. And then Monday night, at one point, this would have been a great game. The Rams against the Packers. Now there are two teams going nowhere. Um, I'm taking the Packers this one. Um, I, one thing, um, I think the Packers, I kind of look... I I kind of look surprised. Yeah. Uh, I can look. I, uh, the Rams are, are looking to prep me because because oh. uh, um they, they Baker didn't miss you. That was an amazing game, huh? I didn't know he played Rams. Well, they signed him, and, and like less than two days later, he's playing for him. I didn't know. All right, about let's that. check on people. Dawn says, "Go Colts!" Hi, Dawn. I'm from Indiana. Hi. Hello, Dawn. Indiana, why me? Indiana no, wants me. me. Lord, I can't no, go back, no, back there. Back Indiana, Indiana wants, wants me. me. <laughs> um, Gavin says, hey, Johnny, he suggested you get a buzz cut. Yeah, probably need a buzz. <laughs> Roxanne is sending some love, John. Thank you so much. It says, happy anniversary. Oh, Cindy thank you. says, congratulations. Heather thank is saying, you so much. hey, John. Hi. Um, oh, Amanda is saying, have a great night. She's down in Alabama. The stars fall on Alabama. Thank you so much. Heather's saying, awesome John, job, Thank John. You. Oh, our buddy and colleague, John Bleeker, says, hey, John. Hi, master. Um, so, Judy's deaf journey. I love this. I'm a deaf mother of hearing blind son. Lance, he's doing great. He is a prodigy. Oh, I want to—it keeps moving on me. I want to read this right. Piano play my dream. He's playing piano for Open Special Olympics. Um, we are uh, Roxanne. Let's see. I, I want to one person at a time. So Judy, thank you for sending that message. Um, it sounds like a wonderful journey and fascinating with Lance. And then uh, Roxanne, she wants to know about uh, AFO socks. Maybe somehow just an idea. We're looking to make some more AFO socks. We're introducing more compression socks. We're getting there, Roxanne. Um, Nick says, keep up the good work. Our friend Mary Gonzalez. Hello, Mary. Hi, Mary. Uh, she's uh, hoping that you're doing well. Doris is saying hello from Tucson, Arizona. We were talking Hi. about Arizona yesterday. We yes. were doing a charity fundraising with the Winslow um, High School wrestling team. That's in Winslow, Maine, right across the river from yeah. Waterville. But when I hear Winslow, I'm thinking Winslow, Arizona. Standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona, I'm such a fine sight to see. It's a girl, my lord, in a flatbed board, slowing down to take a look at me. Come on, baby, don't say maybe. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, I just think about Whistler, too. Yeah? Uh, I, I think it's Whistler from um, my sister, uh, Emily, brother, Hunter. Oh, how's that? Well, now tell me how Winslow connects to Hunter. See a fan of the painter, Winslow Homer? Yeah, Dad. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> ah, no. 
I don't know. We're going off of these things, and if I start singing, people are shutting down, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> oh, boy, and Lance has autism, too, but he's a piano prodigy. It just goes to show. Look what people can do if you give them an opportunity. Thank you so much Thank for you so sharing much. that. Right, Judy, we appreciate that. And Sherry wants to know, when are we going to decorate the tree? I don't know. Maybe Friday night. Or maybe Sunday afternoon. Oh, we have work. No, we don't have work Sunday afternoon. Saturday. Saturday, we're not going to work. Well, we'll see. We'll see. What happened? But you also have, uh, you're going out Saturday night. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, and Karen wants to know what socks you're wearing now. I'm wearing Down syndrome awareness socks. Down syndrome awareness socks. Mmm. <laughs> They're ripe. Oh, we have another Carol saying hello, John. Hello. As is Timothy. Oh, Susie Vaughn. How did you find friend, Susie Vaughn? Hey, she's late to the party. You're never too late. Once to know how the anniversary was, it was great. It's so much fun, and we love getting so to meet fun. client, you know, meet our customers, and they got to meet our sock wranglers. Um, oh, Victoria Slattery is saying she's doing Hi, well. Victoria. Hey, she's finishing up finals. I hope the finals are going okay. You know, that's uh, college students. They go back after Thanksgiving. They get a little bit of class, and now they're all in finals. They got to finish their finals before they come home for uh, Christmas for, the, for the, the semester break. Hope it's going okay. Uh, Victoria Roxana says, thank you. Um, well, we'll try to get those socks made. And then the matriarch of the Slattery family is wishing everyone at John's Crazy Socks a wonderful holiday. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's all good stuff. Well, folks, we hope you've had a good week. We hope you're in the holiday spirit. If you want to get in that holiday spirit, go check out must be Santa by Bob Dylan. <laughs> it's a fun, crazy song. Polka meets klezmer music. <laughs> What's your favorite Christmas song or holiday? You know, Christmas carol. My favorite is Santa Tell Me. Santa Tell Me. Oh. Santa Tell Me, I, I, I want to cry that. Ariana Grande, okay. Uh, it's a really good song. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Christmas rapping by the waitresses. Uh, it's really good. But, uh, and, you know, I like Bruce Springsteen's version of Santa Claus is Coming to Town. But I also like uh, the band's uh, uh, Way in a Manger. Right, they do that? You know, Christmas must be tonight. Um, like some old bluesy, you know, blue Christmas like that. I like the little drummer boy. Right. Um, oh, Li Lisa is saying hello from Minnesota. Hi. Hello, Lisa. All right, folks. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, we hope you enjoy this. You can share this. Let other people know about the Spreading Happiness show. You can always check out our podcast, the Spreading Happiness podcast with John and Mark. It's on all the podcast platforms. Yes, Dad. Right? Um, if you want to join John's dance party, we put a link down below. But you can also find it at our website. What's our website? At seanscrazysocks.com. All right, folks. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful, a wonderful night. Bye. Bye.